So I saw a video about a video where a lady said straight men don't like women. And it's very funny, it's kind of baffling because straight men are designed to like women. Straight men can only like women. So it now made it made me think about a post I wrote about why guys hate on your friends and not you. The thing is, number one, you can't control what guys think or do you can't we can't control what anybody does guys cannot control what you think or do just the same way you cannot control what they think or do so let's approach this with an open mind and and maybe we'll find <laughs> we'll find some answers or we'll find ways to go about this whole thing so number one the thing is guys have preferences oh i didn't introduce myself I'm Bridget. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. This is me. I'm a mom. I'm also a wife. I'm a mom of two and a wife of one. So, number one reason why guys hit on your friends are not you. That like guys have preferences, just like us. Women sometimes say, oh, I want a tall guy. Oh, I want a guy that has this, this, this degree. I want a guy that lives in this, this, this area. And guys to have preferences. Maybe guys like, maybe, maybe the, the guy you're interested in likes tall women and you are short or maybe he likes short women and you are tall so they're just different things i've i've seen guys that say they like muscular women like these women that do um what's it called powerlifting and competition bikini competition or those are the kind of women that they say they like and i've seen guys that like just slim women and i've seen guys that like big women so guys have preferences so if if this person is not choosing it's not because something is wrong with you it's just it's just because of what he likes or what they like so that's number one and and seriously if somebody is not picking me if somebody is not choosing me and the person is choosing my friend then but they're good for each other <clears throat> maybe maybe they're not good for each other but <clears throat> excuse me that's who he prefers and if I force myself for that kind of person to choose me, it's going to be messed up because he doesn't want me in the first place. He never wanted me in the first place. So it's only best for me to be with someone that wants me and we like each other. So stop forcing people to like you. That person does not like you. It's fine. It means that you're not good. They're not good for you. Just the way they feel you're not good, good for them. So that's it. Number two, maybe it's a personality. I'm not saying anything is wrong with you, but some of us have this resting B face and we're, we're even proud about we're proud, we're proud of it. We do it to men, we do it to women. Just like, like, oh, this person can't talk, nobody can talk to me. Always have this resting B face. Maybe that's not what you're doing. Maybe that's what you're doing. But the thing is, even me as a woman, when I see another woman with the resting B face, I kind of hold back like approaching them is kind of harder because even when you're standing right in front of them they they don't look at you they you know when somebody comes close to you and you look at them and maybe you make eye contact you say hello or you smile and then you move on most women that have this resting bee face they don't look at anybody they just feel like for all they know you are just a fly and they are ignoring that fly so so maybe that's maybe that's why guys talk to your friends and not talk to you because of which some, some of us that have this resting beef is when you when, when people approach us were kind of rude kind of short with them and nobody no, nobody wants to be disrespected nobody wants to be looked down on because i'm, not, I'm going to make another example sometimes you meet people that have this resting beef face and you talk to them and they look at you they size you up like they look at you from your head all the way to your toes and <laughs> before they say something to you and like they give this like why do you think you can talk to me look that's the look they give so if you have that it's only normal that people would not really want to approach you maybe that's not your plan but really that's the energy you are giving off so anyway that's it and it's also possible that your friend might be more your fr three your friend might be friendlier that's why that's why guys approach your friend more so maybe just drop the rest in be face maybe be more friendly somebody says hello to you say hello to them somebody smiles at you smile back and you move on i'm not saying you have to be all jolly and jumping all over everybody 
yes there are times i don't want to talk to some people but if you want people to approach you and want to date you then you have to make yourself approachable you have to smile at people you have to say thank you to compliments and yeah and still have your boundaries so for maybe some guys are scared some sometimes guys see girls maybe you're pretty you're good looking and they just feel like maybe she it's be hard to talk to her because she's so pretty so <laughs> like it or not guys are still kind of scared to talk to some girls some guys are still scared to talk to some ladies Funny enough, those are <laughs> funny enough, those are the good guys, and it's very weird because they have they have so much to offer, but they don't know how to approach you. So what you can do is you can't yeah you can't change your beauty to make yourself more approachable. You can't do like make yourself not good looking, but what you can do is you can approach these guys yourself, or you can move solo so that when somebody sees you. They can talk to you because when you're with your friends and then there's competition or because they are with your friends the guy might feel intimidated because sometimes when, when we're, we're with our friends we tend to act like like we're not thinking straight or because or because of these click things guys don't like to come into clicks because now all your friends have to size him up and tell you if he's good enough for you so that's another thing that he might be scared of so what you can do is you can move solo so that when somebody approaches you they're approaching just you and you can judge them or whatever you want to do and who knows it might be different compared to when your friends are only or when your friends are with you i hope i'm making sense here so um five maybe maybe they assume that you're already dating that's another thing when you're we are pretty <laughs> or sometimes the way you carry yourself so people will think that you are already dating how how come a pretty girl like you is not dating someone so what you do is approach you see somebody you like approach them seriously it will not take anything from you the the okay the worst that you get is oh the guy might say oh he's not interested or the guy might not want to talk to you or the guy might be a jerk and really don't want a jerk in your life so but if that if, if that happens fine you move on a lot of guys get rejected every day but the day you meet the person that you like and everything clicks you will never think about all those all that all the rejection that you faced in the past because really those those are no, those people are not your people now you found your person and you have your person and you're happy so yeah let them assume that you're dating but you can approach and you approach and you find some a lot of guys find it very flattering when women approach them so approach somebody the any, any guy that thinks that you're putting yourself on the ground or on the as a walkover or what's it called like a foot mat for because you're approaching him then he's he's someone that you don't want to be with really he's not good he's not good enough for you just just when he thinks that you're not good enough for him because you approached him so yeah that's not your person then six it also depends on what the guy is looking for sometimes guys might approach your friends and not you based on what they're looking for maybe 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 he's looking to start a relationship and your friend looks like someone that wants to start a, that he feels he can start a relationship with or maybe he's just looking for fun and he feels like he can get that with your friend so it just depends on what the person is looking for i'm not saying that your friend is all over the place or whatever but just saying that sometimes those are things that happen people sometimes we look at people and we think that oh this is the place is someone to play with and this is someone to be serious with because humans we do that a lot but it's it's <coughs> it doesn't mean that something is wrong with you so again that's why i always prefer to move alone sometimes like sometimes like if before before i started dating or before i married my husband there are times that i go out by myself take myself to the movie <laughs> yes it sounds sad <laughs> but sometimes just take yourself to a place and maybe a pub a what's it called a coffee shop uh, that's a place to meet cool people yeah you go there you get a small pastry and coffee and you see somebody you talk to them and they might not talk to you they might talk to you you'll never know but 
that it depends on what they're looking for and you have to show that you are looking for something for somebody to want the same thing maybe the person does not want what you want fine maybe they want what you like good if it doesn't work fine if it works excellent so yeah then seven maybe they think that your friend is prettier there are times i've been out to my friend <laughs> i actually invited a friend of mine to a party and she, at first she didn't want to go i convinced her to go and we got there and she got most of the attention from the guys and yeah it made me feel somehow but at the same time there are times i've been out with her and a lot of and people looked at me or people hit on me more so these things happen what what is beautiful to one guy might not be beautiful to another guy it doesn't mean that you're ugly maybe they just think that your friend is prettier and you prefer to approach your friend and again what do you do when <laughs> when it comes to that you move solo move by yourself please for goodness sake you have to drop this click stuff i i don't i can't stand this click mentality i dropped it in high school in high school that was one before i left high school maybe i don't know how you guys do here but i was in i think senior school one or two when i stopped this click stuff because you have this click and then the, the click leader decides for you like you just keep going like like you can't do without your click no you're a grown you're a grown woman you should drop this click mentality and move solo even if you're with your friends and a guy approaches you you talk to the guy talk to the guy don't let your friends decide for you your friends can yes your friends you, you want your friends to like your guy but your friends cannot tell you if you should date him or not because you have sense that's why that's why you're a grown human being that's why you're a grown woman you have sense to think is it nice how does it treat me is it good to me those are things that you should think about your friends should not be sizing about oh oh look at his shirt oh look at his shoes oh oh he said he said he said entries instead of entries <clears throat> move solo meet somebody talk connect that's that, that that's how to get out of this whole mix of one well, my friends and then there's competition how do you keep your competition beside you when you're trying to get something like <laughs> that's how i see it that's how i see it so i hope this helps you to think about how to navigate this whole thing like guys approaching your friends and not talking to you and making you think that straight men hate women straight men don't hate women maybe the straight men that you are going after just don't like you and it's fine doesn't mean something is wrong with you it just means that that's that man that does not like you you are not supposed to like him too so leave it and see let me tell you don't listen to anybody that says oh if you do this 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 you're going to make him like you no the person that will like you will like you naturally you guys will meet and you guys will talk and you would connect. You might just connect over something as basic as ice cream flavor, or you might connect over something like an old movie that you both like, or you might just connect based on how you see things like being very real, being very natural. And seriously, it's, it can be anything. It's not about it's not about how much you earn or where you work. Those yeah, those things are important in relationships, but connect on a more natural and tangible level then any other thing can come after and stop moving in clicks try to approach guys guys are very easy to approach if you approach a guy that doesn't want to talk to you it's fine before i keep going on and on and on about it if you want to read this post it's on my blog i'm going to link, link it in the description and there are so many other posts like this that you can check out on my blog i hope you find this video helpful and um, if you like it please like it share it and subscribe for more i'll be posting new videos every week i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye